Hello viewers, me and team here. Welcome back to Let's Play Civ 4. And in the last part, uh, you might have noticed about a one second audio desync. And this is one of the great things about Linux and one of the terrible things. <laughs> the number of options and the difficulty of implementation. But in this case, it was pretty simple. I looked up an easy solution of um, an it's offset command. Uh, got the basic gist of it down. Now, this is something you need if you're going to be uh, running a Linux build. You need to be able to adjust to these things and make the changes in terminal like you can see. I can't really show you the command I set, but uh, basically it's the minus it's offset by one second. And instead of doing this in a post-production format, I'm actually doing it uh, on the fly. Yeah, and uh, after some tests, it works. And I have some suspicions that this will work for the entire time as a result. Anyway, back to the game. Yes, when we last left off, we were at around 550 BC and uh, just grew into unhappiness. I've paused the game so I wouldn't run up the timer too long. Unfortunately, I didn't do that right away. But since we have a couple AI that like hereditary rule and we like not having our ha capital in unhappiness, we are going to switch. Hereditary rule is very nice. Available early game, it's often your only option, and it's a pretty good one, so take advantage. But again, last part, we also managed to completely block off uh, barbarians in the west. And wow, Napoleon declared war on Yao instead of um, Hattie. That must mean that he's bordering Yao. That's the only reason that that could be uh, an acceptable exclamation. Exclamation? Explanation. All right. So I'm actually up to nine happiness here because I do have a spare unit sitting in here. So I'm working a little bit of extra commerce. And because this is going to be a bureaucracy commerce capital, it might be the one exception to the not working the uh, non-riverside grassland tiles as non-financial. And all your Buddhism spreads to me, but actually the religion spreads pretty sp split. Or splits pretty even. So I'm not sure I want to adopt a religion. Definitely whip this monument. Probably want to whip the granary too, which is pretty cheap to do. Uh, this city as well could use some happiness. No, it's nothing but superstition. I will be able to grow onto the cottages soon. And I'll just uh, overflow whip the happiness structure. Tech wise, we're looking pretty good. A couple people have um, mathematics on me. I have currency on everybody. I can trade for wine. If I can get. Oh, I have two gold resources. We'll just trade that. Even more happy cap. Yeah, once the AI starts hooking up luxury resources, you can really crank up your uh, research if you're uh, growing your cities. 67 beakers of turn, almost stable? Yes, it's 67. Okay. And this will allow me growth. Yeah, a lot of growth. Who doesn't like growths? Don't answer that. Anyway, uh, let's combine this. I'm just going to continue to develop things a little bit more. Yeah, unfortunately, I think I'm kind of forced into working some unimproved forest tiles here. I <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to like stagnate or starve or something. Uh, I guess I could chop. I think it'd be more useful, actually, to put chops into my capital and uh, yeah, while it's growing. Get that library built and then start producing some settlers for my last two city sites. I am still kind of hammer starved here. Um, later in the game, I'm going to overcome this through tech sale and upgrade of obsoleted units into other units. Um, kind of leaning towards a military victory. Anytime you're playing on these uh, mass AI on one continent maps, you might as well take advantage and just declare war on everybody and kill them all. A little cynical, but it gets the job done. And yeah, we are working that cottage now. Put a laws is done. We really don't need courthouses yet. We don't have enough cities to merit them. Um, but even so, it's on the way to the all important civil service. Uh, unfortunately, no one's willing to trade me math, but I want to get civil service as fast as possible. It's an extremely powerful tech for the kind of capital I've set up. Oh my god. I actually founded a religion. <laughs> That's, uh, wow, that's unexpected, certainly. And because I'm not running a religion, I'm going to get a border pop here instantly with this five culture per turn from having a holy city. Really wasn't expecting that. Usually on immortal uh, Confucianism will go by now. Usually. Alright, so I got that hooked up. 
you know, it's just uh, cottages, cottages, cottages. Got that spread. I could go for OR, but I don't think that's a good idea with the AI environment the way it is. I think we'll just continue to milk a tech advantage. And yeah, my people get a little bit unhappy with me now, but uh, nothing a little whip can't solve. Ooh, a demand, and we are going to give in. I don't like giving away a Monopoly tech like that, but he's unlikely to trade it. He's kind of tacking faster than most of the other AI. He's not that big. I just don't want trouble right now, and if he stays pleased with me, which he is, he will not plot war against me, which is uh, pretty well ideal. And yeah, markets are a pretty bad deal right now, too, because I don't get a lot of happiness from them. And uh, they're expensive, and I'm running this high slider, so that's they're not really necessary. Hadi's decided to kind of be a douchemonger, run past me and settle here. I guess for the iron. Maybe she needed iron. If she didn't need iron, that was uh, alarmingly stupid. <laughs> because that city is going to cost her maintenance, be hard for her to hold. It gives me a buffer against the Arabians, making it increasingly less likely that I'm going to see war ever. And at least until I'm ready. And oh, there's Hannibal. Ooh, that's bad. He can settle past. Okay. So I think I'm going to grow a pop here. And then chop out a settler. It's time to get those cities settled before he sails around and takes them. As for this, it's a border city. It doesn't need happiness. I'm going to start on a monastery for the culture, but I'm just going to switch off of that as soon as possible. Uh, for in favor of military, but there I don't need more archers just yet, so I'm not going to do that. Library's okay here. I'm going to need libraries everywhere eventually for Oxford. And ouch, we are running into unhealth pro uh, problems despite being expansive, so that's not cool. Huh. I guess this makes sense. Maybe I want my capital to continue growing, honestly. I should be able to get aqueducts on the following turn. So actually, uh, yeah, let's just put down some monasteries for some research. Monastic science. Yeah, that's what I'll call it. Mathematics is done. If in other sciences... We should arrive at certain and civil service in 12. We won't quite have it in the BCs, but we'll be pretty darn close. And that's not bad pacing for a mortal. <laughs> in some ways, well, I, I, I took a break in tr for until I got Sifor running on this machine, which took some effort. But at this point, I've actually been playing a few more games, and it seems like that short break has allowed me to become a better player. Like, I've kind of got away from some of the mistakes I was making pri previous to this, so... Not a bad change for me. Settler in six. We're working the cottages. We are working the cottages. Oh man, if I could just get some academies. In fact, I will do it there. Even to the detriment of working that gold tile for a while. I want to get a scientist sometime this year. Got the chop. And wow, she's going to annoy me. I'm going to uh, build additional religious buildings there to uh, throw back her culture. She's going to be very annoying with that, I'm sure. And Hannibal has a luxury resource for trade. Let's get it. We really want those. <laughs> they are so good. And alright, this city is obvious next because Hannibal would settle it before he would settle down here for the copper. I'm guessing I'm just going to do some chariots to capture that barb town. Hopefully I should be able to pull that off. If not, I'll still get six cities, so it's not the end of the world regardless. Most of these AIs are pleased with me. I'm liking this development. Don't want to have calendar available for trade with me yet, but whatever. A whip. Maybe this city can contribute to the chariot production as well. And yeah, we're just going to build some of these for barb killing purposes. And I just have to hope I'm fast enough. No, we're not canceling deals with the people who are closer to me. 
This is going to be annoying. I really need to get my uh, culture out here fast. In fact, I'll whip the monastery after I get my settler out. And she's going to take cottages away from me with this. This is such an asinine city placement, unless there's seafood right there. If there isn't, then she's just a douchemonger that needs to die. And I agree with Napoleon in hating her because that's just ridiculous. Nope, not canceling deals with the French either. And she can suck my culture. Suck it down. So we got our settler. Let's run him over here. One more cottage, then I can send my workers out to help elsewhere. Five turns to growth, so... I'd almost prefer a warrior right this moment, just so that I can get more monasteries. I'm eventually going to need to rely on the temples when I switch out of hereditary rule, but that's a long way down the road, so I'm not worried about it too much. Alright. There's only one forest left in this capital, so I'm just gonna go ahead and chop this. Contribute a few military units too. Already running some scientists. Probably should be running. No, he'll run two scientists next turn. Yeah, he. The city is a he. I don't know why that is, but yeah, sure, we'll we'll go with that. That's fine. This is actually a pretty good city, and I want to get it soon. Unfortunately, the AI has those plans as well. Actually, I'm going to choke my archer over there. I've heard, I've seen, and heard, and even pulled off some uh, city captures with a single warrior so I'm sure Archer can pull that as well. I'm just gonna sp uh, get some units in the proximity there try and hold things off. This is actually gonna be a little costly. I want to get a worker out there ASAP. In fact Mr. Rhodes here can do it. And yep, yep, not quite uh, 180. We're going to be getting civil service at 25 AD. Yeah, makes peace with Napoleon. That's good. They fought amongst each other without anything conclusive happening. Oh my god, there's wheat there as well. That is an excellent city site for me then. Yep, whip, whip. Just get lots and lots of culture buildings uh, stuffed into this city. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to lose a cottage anyway, so the unhappiness isn't going to matter. <laughs> and that's going to troll her pretty hard. Of course, if she gets Sistine Chapel, I'm not going to be able to do anything except maybe kill her. Give me a calendar. Yeah. For everything, there is a season and That's a time good, because now I can improve a um, silk tile that I should be able to hold on to. Give me a little lift in uh, happy cap boosting. Capital's only pop 11. I am running into health problems. Oh, I don't have masonry yet. Well, that's next, because I want the aqueduct. And after that... Hmm... Aesthetics drama, because that's probably trade bait, and then I'll go for paper. The bureaucracy is expanding to meet the needs... And uh, aesthetics the drama also bureaucracy. lets me set up a globe theater city. Not sure which one I would use as that yet, but it's worth considering. And I can already farm this and start spreading irrigation, so I'm going to do that as well. Get a plantation going. And just keep trailing units over here. Ah, see? The Egypts did knock something off there. Instant bureaucracy switch. It is more than worth it. Do it. <laughs> it is from their foes, not their friends. Okay. The cities learn the lesson of building high walls. 151 beakers return at stable uh, income now. I'm kind of worried because of uh, uh, Saladin's archer there. That does make me nervous that he's going to beat me there. And we're not going to mess around. We're just going to take this city right now. It's a key component in getting to Oxford ASAP. And I am delaying this Oxford research slightly just because I know I won't be able to get enough production in time. Yeah, well, with the chariot, I might need it. Um, if this attacks and damages one, I might gamble on the city. Let's see what happens. No, they didn't attack it. Now those archers are getting to full strength. 
but I'm going to continue to put pressure on this city, make it hard for the AI to screw me over here. Oh man, instant Buddhism. Alright then, we'll instead work on Workboat and Granary Lighthouse, get this city up to speed even faster, because we'll get a border pop in 10 turns now, we don't need to invest in any monument any longer. Very useful to me. With that, <laughs> I'm going to put as much culture pressure on Giza as possible. Her insults can go to hell. And yeah, that is 21% German, so I am uh, rather rudely culture pressing that. That works out for me. Um, yeah, we can go over there now. Market, not too important. Aqueduct. Yes, we'll get plus two food. That'll be uh, very useful. We are even working some of these lesser tiles. And you can see we do have some towns, and this city's, this uh, uh, cottage is only seven turns away from being a town. She's not going to be able to flip any tiles off of my capital. I already have a decent amount of culture investment here, so. And this city's going to contribute to that as well. More chariots. How many chariots do I need to kill two archers? Probably a decent chunk. Oh what? Art for art's sake is an empty See, this is what I hate about this art sometimes. The truth, There's no reason the that should have happened, good, and that's and really beautiful. annoying. That is the faith that Does I anyone like him? Probably everyone likes him. Ah, damn it. <laughs> yeah, most of the world likes him. So this is gonna be an obnoxious thorn in my side for a good portion of the game now. These chariots are a wasted investment to some extent. I'm going to quit building them. Uh, let's get some culture buildings going. Not a warrior. I'm tempted, very, 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 very tempted to uh, <laughs> declare on him right now and take that. How many cities does he have? He's actually kind of world power. That's not a, the best idea. So, uh, alternative plan could be to quickly build a settler. Uh, maybe whip it out of this city. Although I am running my scientists here, so maybe not. Could lean on Hamburg some more. And uh, steal the... Steal the pig away. That's the other thing I could do. Well, alright. These guys can now reinforce happiness in the capital. They really don't have much else to use for them. Uh, this guy can just explore... Wow, that really irks me, because what happened here is these were two full health barb archers. So a uh, damaged or maybe full health war chariot attacked and won. That's about 60-65% odds, something like that. That's, you know, okay, fine, yeah, that can happen. And then this one archer with cover attacked an archer in a city at like sub 20% odds after that 60% odds battle and managed to take the city. <sighs> It was a worthwhile investment for uh, Saladin to attack it, that archer wasn't going to do anything else, but that's really annoying. The AI wins such a low odds battle there to hose me. Whatever, let's do something vindictive. Does any, is anyone else pushing music? Does anyone else have music? No. Alright. We are going to do something I usually advocate against then. We're going to capture that city with an artist bomb. <laughs> because seriously, that pisses me off. This city doesn't annoy me, most of the cities don't annoy me, but that barb luck just irks me, and I'm going to make the game pay. This city's fine with the courthouse. You are kind of worthless but uh, worth at least something in terms of my happiness. <laughs> Music in six. Just All a little detour here. Yeah, it'll slow down my lib date, but I, I'm going they to need the uh, production more, I think. And one man in his time plays many so parts. let's go with that. And here we go. Settler, we're gonna three pop with the settler, finish the courthouse, and then go into theater.
and otherwise we're finally gonna get some food here so that this is uh, not such a waste of a city <laughs> second gold resource did help though otherwise not a lot to say it's just uh, fortified there so asinine that would be worth some happiness too because I could flip it Hey, a barb galley. It's nice not to have to worry about those. I guess chop here because there's really nothing else. Hattie's acting as if she wants to settle that. That's annoying. More whips. <laughs> In the one city I didn't want to whip. Well, one of the two cities I didn't want to whip. I don't want to whip my capital either. Capital's very strong. <sighs> I mean, overall though, this game isn't going too badly. I do have a big tech lead. I am relatively sheltered from declarations. Uh, the only person who borders me heavily likes me. Even Saladin likes me. So yeah, all my people who border me actually like me. So that's not horrible. Let's uh, let's just get the last settler out before Hattie beats me there. I'll get my six cities. Anyone have music yet? Music yet? Music yet? Nope. Nobody has music. No one's even close. Well, it's actually someone is close, but not very close. And I can trade for marble, I just remembered. I need to give up a fur for it, I think. Oh, and a silk. Or I can give up two incense. Hehehe. <laughs> I think the two ends uh, solution is the way. That's the truth. How many more turns for a border pop here? One more. Very good timing on that work boat. I'll just pretend I planned for it, even though there's no way I did. Alright. Work boat to fish. And let's get more farms. Now this city is going to become decent. And again, I could have tried to cheat out here for this, but it would have slowed down my early game so much. Probably not worth it. And we get the music, music the artist. Of love. Play on. I think. Yes, we do. And I think we know how this is going to end for Mr. Barb City Capture Horror. <laughs> it's going to be take a while for both of these cities to become good. But it's, uh, it is what it is. Nope, 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 nope. Don't go there. Go there. <laughs> Sorry, Saladin, but your luck has to be uh, compensated by some unluck. Am I still working on my cottages? I think for the most part I am. Yeah, okay. We'll go even more hog wild on that. I'm probably going to run free religion because of the continent uh, climate here, so. Wait one turn. Oh, right. Yeah, because then I can start on the peg. What Napoleon is doing there is beyond me. How's the world land looking? Yeah, this actually isn't that bad. I have fewer cities than some of the AIs, but not by that many. And if you look at the land distribution, notice that nobody's at like 22, 23%, so getting like 150% of the land they should have. Or more, which happens sometimes on other scripts. While the... Uh, uh, Pangea map script is a little dull. It does have that going for it. It's a balanced map script. It's one of the few in the game that are uh, default slash kind of standard scripts that are tolerable from a balanced standpoint. So bear that in mind. <laughs> Wait, settle. Don't need any uh, border pop help in this city, I don't think. Yeah, he doesn't even have a cultural income there. I should be able to do something to this city. Something rather unfortunate. And I'll have it next turn, so you won't even be able to get a border pop on me in time. Yes, I've been waiting for that a long time. I really should have put more effort into farming a great scientist. Eh, it's one of the bigger holes in my play, what can I say? This city probably should grow onto its tiles now, and or maybe like whip the courthouse. Or maybe whip a worker, because <laughs> I could use another one. 
And then I can spread irrigation, so that works. Yes, one of the few times I'm going to do this. So enjoy it. Boom. <laughs> and boom goes the dynamite. No, but seriously, that just hurts. This city's chance of revolt is obscenely high. <laughs> oh, close borders. Spark tensions. Puts me actually to number one in land, surprisingly. How am I doing demographically? Second in GNP, it's surprising. Now, first in land. <laughs> Last in a lot of other things. And I think it's time, actually, rather than Buddhist temples and crap. No, I still don't have metal hooked up. I'm going to want to trade for machinery soon and start building maces, though. Because that will let me uh, mass upgrade the rifles. And combined with the draft, that should uh, make for a very powerful setup. And I will be able to eke out a city here before any AI can grab it from me. So we'll just spread irrigation. We'll go ahead and mine this. This is the culture bomb allows me. The monastery. <laughs> Theater, yeah, okay, we're good. We'll build some of this stuff too. I'll probably cancel that and build more relevant buildings. I cannot live without books. <laughs> Just give the city up, Sal. You're not gonna keep it. You have to take it from our cold dead hands. I'll flip it from your frickin' hands. <laughs> oh, going on the tech picture. Still looking alright. I could trade for feudalism. Nobody wants to trade away machinery just yet. Napoleon's tech position is miserable. In fact, the AIs are teching pretty badly in general this game, which is fortunate for me. I'm actually going to road over to Batran. There's no way he's getting out of that. Because he's not even going to be able to build anything that's worthwhile. Oh, there is some fish over here. I could settle another city. Yeah, okay, we're up to seven now. We'll get an eighth from flipping. I might actually just turn this into pure junker once it's grown and whipped its stuff, infrastructure, for uh, food. Uh, yeah, because then I can spread some irrigation, get to, like farms here, 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 something like that. I need some spread irrigation over there anyway, and these are not good cottage cities. And then I can run wheat plus pig and uh, maybe make this a draft city. It has enough uh, latent production where I can set up globe there. It's not going to be the best globe city ever, but it's probably the best one I have. Yeah, if I farm everything, yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good enough. It's a mass rifle drafting going. I don't think so, man. I don't think so either. You don't plot war it pleased. Okay, some of these guys are getting kind of huge on the city count. I don't know how they're pulling that off. Barb Galley is not even a remote threat to me because none of my seafood is coastal. It's not like it can actually pillage anything. It can't reach anything. Man, the whip anger there is pretty harsh. Hmm. Well, whatever. We're good. We're good for now. Still waiting for our tech trade opportunities. Really don't want to get the AI closer to anything that'll actually speed up its tech rate. That's not going to be useful to me to do that. Should have copper hooked up very soon. Yes, I do. So, Buddhist temple. We still working largely farms? <laughs> yeah, we are. Won't be that way for long, though. So what I'm really waiting to be able to trade is metal casting. For some reason, the people who have it just don't want to trade. Kind of bad luck for me. Come on now. This isn't revolting. And now he's going to get a border pop here. I'll be really annoyed if I can't actually pull 
a uh, flip off with that. I mean, I spent an entire great person to pressure a city that didn't even have culture in it. I should be able to get a flip. In theory. I guess my backup plan is to turn this city into the draft city. It won't have as much food, but it'll be pretty close. This is only plus one past the standard farm when it comes to food drafting. Why don't you just give the city to me? Why do you want to hold it? There's, it's useless. Uh, well, AI's never been known for being particularly bright. I mean, if there were a self-raising option, that would probably be ideal for him. That way I wouldn't get the benefits of it. But, uh, he wouldn't have to pay the maintenance on it anymore. I know Immortal AI don't pay much maintenance, but they do pay a little, and that city's completely worthless. He's working, like, some ocean tiles at best. It's just no good. Um, this city is kind of interesting. I think I'm going to put out a couple workers here before uh, turning it production. Not the best production city, only a mine. I can get another mine, but it's gold, so it's not as much production as it normally would have. But it should help out, and I can uh, sell off track uh, for money or whatever. Unfortunately, nobody has any. Oh, and she only uh, she, she's one of the few people who has uh, metal casting and does not have civil service. Yeah, sure, we'll trade for world map. I've been neglecting scouting, so we can just trade for a world map at a laziness. And them that take the sword Get our uh, access to forges. Sword. That's very important since we're industrious. It kind of sucks to have delayed it so long. I really thought the AI would have it available for trade sooner than that, to be honest. So, no theater. We are going forge. I forge in Berlin next, too. They could use the uh, hammers, and yeah, now I'm not going to go with that stuff. I do want the theaters in my cities, though, um, because I do want to be able to build a globe. And yeah, look at this. Down at 6% Arabian, and watch this, because he's going to get the bonus tile culture here, and I'm going to start getting derped. So I can't count on flipping this city now, because I don't even have one revolt there. And he's like an 8% revolt chance per turn with one unit like that, but it doesn't matter. If the game doesn't want to revolt, it's not going to revolt. Granary down. Probably want a court, uh, lighthouse next. And we are going to go forge next, because they are reduced cost to me. Lighthouse before forge there, because we've invested in the lighthouse. And therefore, the remaining cost is less. And okay, it's kind of an awkward stopping point. We're on our way to liberalism here. Uh, unless something really wonky happens, I can't picture losing it because nobody has paper yet. So I'm not going to lose Lib Race. I could get declared on and lose the game, but that's about the only way I could see losing. Anyway, viewers, I will continue this in the next part. I'm going to go ahead and save this in case anything wonky goes on with the recording. Thumbs up if you like the video, and I will see you in the next part. The